Today we are removing this hydraulic pump from a Volvo 330 Bravo. Uh, due to catastrophic failure, we're going to replace it with an HWM dyno tested brand new pump. The top is off. We're going to inspect the O ring that seals the tank. Uh, this one's hard and flat, as you can tell. Um, the new one, it'll be nice, big, and round to seal the tank to keep any air from coming in. All right, moves up and down. We want to make sure that's working because that's the spring for the suction for the return side filter. If that's not working, that means the spring's not in there and the actual filter won't lift up if there's too much debris. Here we have the spring that holds the filter down. We'll take it off. Okay, so now we want to pull out this inner screen for the return side. It looks to be good. No debris. Now this is a return intake filter. It looks really good. I'm going to go ahead and take it out. We'll replace it with a new one. time to switch fittings. We're going to take this fitting, this fitting, uh, a few more of the fittings off this pump. We're going to switch it to the new one. Uh, now's a good time to inspect the drive off the dampener. It looks to be pretty good. The splines are all there. They're not missing. So we do switch fittings and put the new one back in. Richards, um, I'll call you back with another phone.
we anesthetize the coupler, the dampener, and the spline shaft on the pump just so we could slide it in just like that. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Alright, shut it off. Yeah. Alright. All the pumps? Your pumps? Your pumps were bad. I got pieces, well, that filter I cut apart and I called you that night. I have pieces of the pump in that in that filter. Alright. Make sure it's down over the the tube in the tank. We'll install the strainer screen. Install the top to the strainer screen. The relief screen. And then the top. This is a very important part of installation of the pumps. You have to take the very top plugs off of each pump. So when you fill it up, when you fill the tank up, the atmospheric pressure will push the fluid through the suction hose and up through these holes pushing all the air out of each pump. You want to make sure, dude. You want to make sure when you're filling the pumps up, you take the plugs out of the top and you get oil coming out of the pumps. That way you'll not dry start the pump. So we got the bottom one primed. Now we're going to fill the top one up. We are going to just bump the machine over a few revelations, see if we hear anything out of place um, that doesn't make any sense to us. And then we're going to go ahead and fire it up and let it warm up. <laughs> 